for the sixth time. An HBCU college fair was held in downtown Jacksonville. It was put on by the Center One Foundation and State Senator Tracy Davis. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar was there to talk with one high schooler who says this helps him desire to figure out where he wants to attend school. This is Scott James. He's a senior in high school, but has his sights set on attending Florida A&M University to study computer science next fall. James was able to find more information about that here at the sixth annual HBCU College Fair at the Jesse DuPont Center in downtown Jacksonville. More than 1,000 students registered to be here just like James, and they're here to learn about some options about colleges. It's a pretty big deal, uh, as you can tell from the huge crowd that's over there. Um, yeah, I'm just like, glad to be here. 22 historically black colleges and universities were represented here, along with companies offering internships. That's Nelson McCoy. He is with the Center One Foundation and one of the founders of this college fair. He is an alum of Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach. I've had people um, this year comment on the flyer and say, my daughter or my son got a scholarship because they came to your college fair. That's huge impact, and that's, that's really what we're about. All of these students had the chance to apply and possibly get accepted to some of these colleges. They had the chance to learn about scholarships and financial aid, as well as panel discussions about study tips, being college ready, and networking. McCoy talks about the significance of the more than 100 HBCUs, including the more than 10 that are also community colleges. Historically, black colleges and universities are schools that were established during segregation when African Americans were prohibited from attending other schools because of the color of their skin. McCoy says these schools offer hope. HBCUs will send the most African Americans to um, medical college. They produce the most African American teachers. They produce a large portion of our engineers, our lawyers, and here's the kicker. They only are 3% of the universities in the nation. They only educate 9% of the black folks who get their college degrees. There are four HBCUs in Florida, including right here in Jacksonville at Edward Waters University, the oldest historically black college or university of the four. Edward Waters is a testament of uh, determination. It's a testament of will. It's a testament of meeting this, the, the community's needs. And so many other schools, McCoy says, offer the same things that these students were able to learn about at this college fair. In downtown Jacksonville, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.